This week on Analog Generation, we're spinning the car around and working on the driver's side. Okay, as you can see, I got it turned around. Was uh, way too much work. These are joys of working in a two car garage when you have more than two cars and one is a project. Uh, as well as I've got a couple motorcycles that I have stored in here as well. So, anyways, turn around now. Now I can uh, get to work on this side. As you can see, there's quite a bit to do here. This has just been kind of roughed in. Um, you can see that it has a little piece here, which is possibly the piece I had to add on the other side. Because I think I cut it off because it doesn't quite fit properly. Uh, this one I've left on, but it uh, needs to be trimmed and then welded into place. Uh, this needs to be finished off with some uh, filler. And then I'll basically try to strip as much as I can off of the paint on this side. Um, getting it ready for paint. Um, other than that, we'll just kind of see how much we can get done in the time that we have. Let's get started. I cleaned up this panel and uh, as I knew I've got some uh, rust holes along this edge right here so I'm going to cut out this section and weld in a little patch. Okay, so this is all replaced now. Yeah, it's all solid. Moving on to the next. Okay, up next, uh, I'll take care of the marker light hole on this side and uh, get that taken care of. It's exactly the same as what I did on the other side. So I'm just gonna kind of blast through this. the marker light filled in ah one step at a time slowly coming together
top tip. This is what happens when you use 10 year old sanding discs. That is a pain in the butt to get off. Uh, I bought these about 10 years ago with a different project and never used them all, so I thought I would try using them on this one. And this has happened every time I use one, so uh, I'll show you what, how nice and easy the uh, new ones I bought come off. While I was doing the bodywork there, uh, I decided I didn't like the way that I had finished the bottom of the rocker panel. So what you saw there was I basically just went along and re-welded it and grinded back the welds. Um, I think it'll be a, be a lot better secured and uh, just sealed up a little bit better here. So, Okay, so that's where I'm going to end this episode. Unfortunately, I've run out of time again. Uh, everything seems to take a little bit longer than I'm expecting, so pretty happy with what I got done. I got uh, kind of the first session of body work on this side, kind of just to blend in all the uh, welds that I've done. Uh, and unfortunately, I did have to spend some time repairing that bottom of the rocker panel just because I didn't like the way that it, uh, it was done the first time. So sometimes you got to redo things when you're working on things for the first time. So. Uh, but overall, I'm happy, and uh, if you've enjoyed this video, please like and subscribe, and we'll see you next week.